Yeah, Nigel from Wellington asking an interesting question. Does the Wellington Harbor protect the city from a tsunami? The answer is rather complex. It can be both yes and no. It really depends on how a tsunami will impact the city and where a tsunami will come from. The Wellington city can be impacted by a tsunami from different sources, including those outside the harbor and also those inside the harbor. If a tsunami is coming from outside the harbor, for example, South America across the Pacific Ocean, the narrow harbor entrance will be able to limit the amount of tsunami energy entering the harbor. Then the tsunami impact will be less severe inside the harbor than the outside. But in a large hydrangle event, the tsunami may also find its way through the low-lying southern harbors, such as Leo Bay or Kilburnie. If a tsunami is generated from inside the harbor, such as Wellington Fall, then the narrow harbor entrance channel limits the amount of wind energy escaping. Additionally, the particular shape of the Wellington Harbor means its natural water oscillation patterns may likely be mobilized by either a ground motion or the incoming tsunami waves. This is kind of like we're holding a bowl of water. We shake the bowl, the water will oscillate and may get higher and higher until it spills. It may also cause a much longer duration of tsunami impact inside the harbor. Hopefully this answers your question.